My granddad marches on Anzac Day. On Anzac morning, we get up very early. It is still dark. We drive in the dark and park the car. We put on our coats. It is always cold. We wait at the memorial for the sun to come up. There are sad poems and singing. We say, lest we forget. A bugle plays a lonely song. Then guns fire at the sky. Once, twice, three times. It makes me jump and scares the seagulls. Later, we have cake and hot chocolate to warm us up. We find our spots for the parade. Daddy gives me a badge, just like his. I sit on Daddy's shoulders. It's a very long wait, but my granddad will come. My granddad marches on Anzac Day. He wears his best jacket and has shiny medals on his chest. He doesn't have much hair on his head, but he does have a big moustache. Grandad knows where we will be waiting. He always smiles at me. Lots of people are marching, their legs all moving in time. Some of them play music. I feel their drums boom in my chest. Grandad marches with his friends. He remembers when they were young. He remembers when he was young. He marches for all his friends who can't march. He marches for us. Some people can't walk. Some are pushed in wheelchairs. Some ride in cars. We clap and wave as they go past. Well done, boys, my dad calls out. They smile shyly and look pleased. Once long ago, there was a war, my daddy says. Many soldiers fought and died in a place called Gallipoli. Some were from Australia. Some were from New Zealand. They were called Anzacs. They died in places with names like The Neck, Lone Pine and Anzac Cove. Their mums and dads waited, but they never came home. My granddad marches to remember them. My granddad wasn't there. My granddad was in a different war. That's where he earned his medals. After the parade, my daddy says, I'm proud of you, mate, to granddad. He has tears in his eyes. Grandad is quiet. He is still remembering. One day I will march on Anzac Day and I will do the remembering. <laughs>